All right, so I'm gonna be going over how to lose on ignition poker. Okay, this hand was absolutely ridiculous. I'm gonna be going over. I had pocket queens and it was just super sick. Now, as I'm going over this hand, if you guys are looking for your online poker sites to get started with, we'll have some bonus and sign up links in both the description and comments. And of course, if you could smash a like button on this video, I would definitely appreciate it. All right, so I raised it up to six bucks. All right, we were playing a one, two, no limit cash game and uh we did get popped to twenty dollars and i decided just to flat call it but you know let's uh let's check this out all right no now player five is going to be the one that re-raises up re-raises us he pops it to 20 bucks and you know i think flat calling with pocket queens is fine because i don't want to get in a situation where i shove and he's got kings or aces because it it could happen you know it's happened before All right, player four is taking forever, but he is going to make the call here. All right, so here's where player five pops it to 20 bucks. And, um, you know, like I said, I think flat calling is probably the right play. Now, if player six would have shoved here, I probably would have, you know, made the call for sure. But he gave it up. Okay, so we went three-way, and it was a pretty safe flop for Pocket Queens. Um, you know, a couple clubs out there. We do have one of the clubs, which is good, too. And I'm still beating a lot of hands, like Ace-King, uh, you know, any kind of hands like that. I'm still ahead on. Player 5 bet 23 into it, so, you know, pretty small continuation bet. Okay, and then the turn card was a jack, which was still a good card for us because, I mean, we still have, uh, you know, we have a flush draw possibility here, um, and we've got, you know, basically, if we could hit a nine, we'd hit a straight. Just hoping he doesn't have a hand like king-queen suited or something like that. Okay, but he opted to check it here, and, um, you know, I was okay with checking it. River card was a jack. Okay, and I felt like that was a safe card. I wasn't putting this guy on, like, King Jack or Ace Jack at all based on, you know, his re-raise uh, pre-flop. It just didn't feel like he would have a Jack. So, you know, at this point, we got to bet something, right? Um, I know for a fact he doesn't have Aces or Kings, so I know I'm ahead of those hands, uh, you know, and he could call with a hand like Ace King, obviously, if he has something like that, put me on maybe, like, a bluff, I guess. But, you know, we got to get some kind of bet in right here. Like, no doubt about it. So I was just figuring out the right sizing. <clears throat> and I'll be honest, there was just... I, I had no doubts in my mind that I was good here with pocket queens. But you guys are going to be absolutely shocked at what this guy had. And this is just... was so sick. So I bet 26 into it. You know, I felt like that was a good size bet. He called me, and the guy had ace-jack. That was so disgusting. He re-raised the hand with nothing, uh, ace-jack to 20 bucks, hit nothing on the flop, but he bet on the flop, hit a jack on the turn, and then hit another jack on the river. That was such a sick beat, but, you know, I took it like a champ, and it is what it is. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this hand. Uh, if you could smash the like button.